Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. Today we are going to be looking at clacking of chest pain. But before we go into the details of chest pain, I want to introduce you to Socrates. No, not the Greek philosopher, but Socrates, the acronym which by which we clack pain. Now, after our discussion, you will see that there is a close relationship between Socrates and the system of the five C's. The system of the five C's, as you know, involves the complaint, the cost, the course, the complication and the care so far. Socrates, on the other hand, stands for sight, onset of the pain, C will be the character of the pain, R will be radiation, A will be association, C will be the timing of that pain. We'll talk more on that later. E will be exacerbating and relieving factors. And then S will be the severity of that pain. So that is what Socrates means when we talk about um, pain. Since pain is the most common symptom worldwide, it's important that you become familiar with Socrates. It will help you to be able to clack and describe pain appropriately. Now, for chest pain, so S, sight. Where is the pain? You can ask the patient to point the pain with one finger. If it's pointing towards the chest, you can be more sure that it's not, it's not the epigastrum. It's not the epigastric region and epigastric pain will point more towards gastroesophageal reflux disease, peptic ulcer disease. A chest pain will narrow down your, a, a, a central chest pain will narrow down your, um, if it's peripheral, you can start thinking of pleuritic chest pain. If it's central, you start thinking of pericarditis, you start thinking of acute coronary syndrome. So that's how you start narrowing with the site. Also, if the, if the pain is superficial, you start thinking, could this be, you know, um, pericarditis? Could it be a musculoskeletal pain from the chest? If it's deep, could it be an aortic aneurysm? Could it be a myocardiac infarction? Now, so site, now onset. If the pain was insidious in onset, it points towards more towards an inflammatory cause such as pericarditis or pleuritic chest pain. However, if the pain was sudden in onset, it points more towards a vascular cause, for example, an acute, acute coronary syndrome. Now, that's for the onset. So, side onset, the character of the pain. Is the pain burning and gnawing as seen in peptic ulcer disease? Is it sharp and stabbing as seen in pericarditis and pancreatitis? Is it dull? and heavy and gripping like myocardial infarction is it tearing does it feel like there's a tearing sensation as seen in aortic aneurysm so the character of the pain will help you to specify what the possible etiology can be r radiation does the pain radiate to the neck to the jaw to the upper arm and even to the wrist if it's radiating that way it points more towards a myocardial infarction if the pain is radiating, however, towards the abdomen, the groin, the hip, it points towards more towards an abdominal aneurysm. Now, that's for radiation. Now, association, and this is very important. Is there associated, for example, weight loss, drenching night sweat, as seen in tuberculosis? Is there associated anemia, asthenia, and anorexia? That's um, poor appetite weight loss as seen in a, can a cancerous pain is this pain associated with um, poor inspiratory efforts and shallow breathing as seen in for example pleuritic chest pain or pericarditis is this pain associated with feeling of impending doom diaphoresis vomiting and nausea as seen in myocardial infarction is this pain associated with a feeling of difficulty in swallowing, burning sensation behind the throat, and if it's associated with that, then it points towards more of a peptic ulcer disease. Now, that is for the association of um, chest pain. Now, for the aggravating or exacerbating or relieving factors, is the pain ex um, is it worsened by inspiration movements as seen in pericarditis or pleuritic chest pain? Is the pain worse um, when the patient walks or, um, you know, is it, is it worse with exercise 
If it's worse on exercise, it points towards a myocardial infarction. Is the pain um, worse with refluxogenic food like fatty food, spicy food? If that, it points more towards a gastroesophageal reflux disease or a peptic ulcer disease. Is the pain relieved by rest? Myocardial infarction. Is it relieved by eating? Antacid points towards more of peptic ulcer disease. Is the pain relieved by um, rest and taking of um, nitrates, for example, points towards more of myocardial infarction? So these will be the aggravating and relieving factors when it comes to chest pain and lastly s will be the severity of the pain from 0 to 10 with 0 meaning absolutely no pain and 10 being the worst pain the patient has ever felt in his life where would this scale the pain to give you an idea of the severity of that pain by the time you have clapped that pain using socrates as your model you can easily transpose it to the complaints the character of the complaint the cost of that complaint, the cost of that complaint, and then you can also ask for the care given so far. There will be other videos on other symptoms, videos on examinations, and videos on how to integrate your clinical acumen with your knowledge from the classroom. Thank you for watching.